to Alvinley Railways. Uh, this wagon was the, uh, the driving truck that I had with uh, Elizabeth, um, but um, I decided to uh, convert my other wagon for that, so this was uh, available. So over the last few days I've been working on turning it into a brake van. Here you can see a little trip that I did to the end of the garden to get some bits of wood. And uh, this uh, this old chest of drawers here that I've got from Wayland is uh, proven to be very useful in the construction of this little brake van. So the driving truck uh, had a braking system that the previous owner had, uh, had uh, put together. So I thought, well, why not turn it into a brake van? And so that's what I started doing. Using bits of pallets and uh, this old chest of drawers. And the little bits, like the side, that were on the uh, wagon originally. So a real sort of mishmash of bits and pieces. You can see it's coming together just ready for the roof to go on. There it is with the roof, just little bits of thin ply from the back of the chest of drawers. The, uh, the little windows and um, picture frame. Yeah, I did a little test run with it and uh, it did come off because it was only partly built at the time and uh, my lamp went flying, the, well the top of it, and uh, nearly got squashed but uh, no, no damage was done, it was okay. And it hasn't derailed since then, so hopefully we're okay. But it is only um, four wheels as opposed to being a, a bogey wagon. All, all my other stock on the railway uh, have bogeys. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just uh, four unsprung wheels. So probably not the, the most comfortable ride, but uh, it's not too bad. It's a nice uh, thick seat. So, uh, yeah, the, the seat was the other half of the uh, the back that I made for the uh, the seat on the tender for Elizabeth. Here you can see loads and loads of uh, roots that are still left from that fallen down tree. The brake van wouldn't go past them there because um, it's actually the widest item of stock on the whole of the railway. Uh, it just about squeezes past everywhere else. But um, the, the idea is to get rid of those, uh, those roots in that uh, soil at some point. It does wobble about a bit. It's not as bad if someone's sitting in it, I've found. But uh, yeah, it was uh, earlier it was when it was coming down here that it came off but I think it was because the weight wasn't evenly distributed I'd only built the back part of the wagon at that point you can see me in the reflection there look like a little ghost look ghost in the uh, brake van everywhere when I'm making things I'm terrible I'm so untidy but yeah that test run was successful so that's good yeah I used an old um, another picture frame here for a bit of trim along there to sort of support the roof all the way along Hopefully, I'll either have like an opening hatch there or I will put a window in it. Um, 
as in I'll put glass in it. Yeah, you can see the break there. You can see uh, it in operation. But yeah, it, also the sides. I'll probably put like a double door that opens both ways. So that you can be completely enclosed in it. was originally going to be painted grey or sort of varnished wood but um, I think with a variety of wood it wouldn't have quite worked maybe some kind of stain um, that was like a varnish stain kind of thing might have worked with it but I just used some uh, fence treatment in the end And then uh, the rains were just about to come on, so uh, put it away. Yeah, the wagon's pretty useful. The sorry, the coach is pretty useful as a wagon uh, if you take the uh, seats out, and they just lift out. That's uh, some coal there for uh, Elizabeth. I was running low, so I've got some coal um, from the petrol station and uh, dropped it at the bottom of the drive and um, brought it by train. Yeah, I'm just putting some of that blackjack stuff over the top of the roof to uh, keep the water out. Excuse all the wind on this. Uh, it was a uh, pretty, pretty windy day. It's actually quite comfortable sitting in it, and it hasn't even got the backrest in yet, so <laughs> should be good. I'm not sure what I wasn't sure about. So we're just going to do a, a little test with me sat in the brake van and uh, with Waylon driving. slow the train as well. It's a really nice system that the, the person who built it incorporated. 
that shows just how uh, tight things are. <laughs> it needs a bit of uh, cutting back in places. Not sure what the ticking noise was. It sounds like I've got a flat, but I don't think uh, I don't think I've used the uh, brakes that vigorously. So I've, I've applied the brake there. What's that? Stopped us. Yep, yeah, stopped us. So if I let go, it might... Yeah, here we are. We're starting to roll. Carry on then, mate. Getting ready for another onslaught of leaves. Uh, still <laughs> picking up leaves from last autumn. Luckily, I made the platform nice and uh, wide, so it uh, goes past there no problem. The reason it had to be wide was because um, the design where everything's enclosed you've got to be able to have room for shoulders and things like that which isn't an issue for the on the coaches so I've got a few more bits and pieces and uh, yeah a few bits of wood from Juicen spent about a tenner on a little bit of wood to make some extra trim Yeah, just uh, I thought I'd tart up the outside a little bit more. Cause, uh, the inside will be done as well, but um, I'm concentrating on the outside at the moment. That's after a bit of a lick of uh, that fence treatment. And on the other, s the other end of the wagon. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd experiment with them. Um, like a little bit of picking out various things in black, but I'm not quite sure if I'm going to stick with that or not. And put away again. And a big mess to clear up. Again. And here you can see uh, an early bit of footage of Elizabeth. And there's the wagon. I'm just sat on it there. And now it looks like that. <laughs> it's a bit different. If anyone missed my last couple of videos, um, the driving truck for it now is uh, my old wagon that I converted. And here you see a picture of the uh, finished item. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and um, I'll be back soon with uh, a few more updates on the brake van. Bye for now.